Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello. Like, what if I was? <laughs> yeah. Like someone, someone needs to. They booted me up, and I'm, I'm erroring out. <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing like a, like a. Hello oh, everyone. Hello. 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 <laughs> I can't do the error. Error. <laughs> um, Hello, yeah. there you go. Welcome down Welcome the, to the hobby hole. <laughs> Welcome to the hobby hole. <laughs> Dead like a summer voice. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the hobby hole, a weekly podcast about hobbies, interests, and hyperfixations. Sometimes our own, and sometimes discovering new ones. I am your host, Daniel Rusted, musician, dungeon master, card game designer. And man of many hobbies and interests, and I am joined, 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 as always, by my co-host and best friend Schwabadi. Hi. <laughs> that's that's if we had a, like a radio show. I did it. I did POV. Yeah, yeah. You're listening to the radio, um, and, you're and they're just listening to two. one point two point one FM. <laughs> I'll be whole. <laughs> you're listening to three point one four one four. And I did. They just recite <laughs> all of Pi. Yeah. Uh, uh, this episode, this episode is about flags. Ignore the fact that it said kings and queens up there for a second. It's yeah. About... If you're listening to this on Spotify or iTunes, it didn't. It, so didn't. it says flags. It, you were fine. This yeah. is an episode about flags, vexicology, which is Vex... the scientific. Isn't it vexillology? Vexiology. Vex. Vex. It's, it's vex, vex it. something. Vexing. You may be thinking, how is flags a hobby? Naive. <laughs> Um, I'm obsessed cool. with flags. I think flags are great. They're amazing pieces of design that really yes. encapsulate and put forth something about a flag. Can we? Yeah. What's what's, it, what's incredible of, about a flag is it, it it combines the interests of flags, right? Combines the interests of like design, graphics, media with culture and history. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like such a fun fusion. It's it's um, design informed by regional culture and. It's it's fa- it's fascinating. It's fascinating. So let's talk about it. Let's go, let's go over before we talk about flags. I, I think mm-hmm. it's important for us to talk about what makes a good flag. What are the 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 There's actually a sort of flag design principles that we should go over first. Okay. Before we sure. dive into good and bad flags. And mm-hmm. uh, these are really really simple and obviously you can break these rules if if what you make is good, but the rule one is always keep it simple. Right? It should be able to yeah. be recognizable from afar or be able to be drawn in a little thing, right? Because a lot of them is for yeah. communication. Number two, meaningful symbolism of some kind. You know, it can't just be... It's got to represent something about your country. Number three um, is you don't want to use too many colors, right? Keep it within, you know, yeah. three-ish. You could do more, but three-ish. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, no letters, no fucking words. <laughs> United States of America state flags we'll get to them yeah. but no fucking we'll if you have to, you. to write on the flag what your flag is then it fails as a flag. flag yeah and then i think that's 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 the main things like those i think those are the main four yeah uh, you'll, just, you'll find that a lot of a lot of like design quote-unquote rules around flags are very similar to design rules around logos where it's yeah. like you can break these and there are so many exceptions to these rules but it's it's one of those things where like Th- those are those are the main principles that you want to stick to in order to you know make things yeah. easier for yourself. Have a good flag. Um, um, all right. Well, you know what? Let's just jump into it. Do you want to start by talking talk, about some talk about good, good flags? flags? Good flags. Yeah. Good flags. I, and then I, you talk about good I flags. Have, I'll I talk about list. bad flags. I haven't. I have a theory. Yeah. That the colonial power of a nation is linked to how good their flag is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Just do me a favor. Daniel Rustich, name for me off the top of your head some of the strongest, the most powerful colonial powers in history. Um, oh, colonial. Okay, okay. Um, England. England. The United Kingdom, right? Yeah. Incredible flag. Not only all three of the foreign of the nations within the United Kingdom all have exceptional flags in of themselves, but the combined Union flag is is I think the Union one you know, of the best design flags in the world. Unbiased, the Union flag despite its inherent like complex it's one of those flags where it's complex yes but in a simple way yeah um, i think i think and that's it's what complex makes it the, iconic break down in a, a few simple shapes yeah, yeah. um like it's not but overly it's, complex it's iconic There's... it's it's gorgeous it's great and um, it, it, it's different without being too different that it's weird yeah 
I and the, the obviously the symbolism of it combining uh you know three you know, of the all mid, the important like, parts the of the George, uk the saint andrew flag <laughs> no, <all> the import- <laughs> listen i i am one of the few who would love to put the welsh dragon somewhere on the flag yeah, no, I wouldn't. but um it's not real it's not realistic yeah. uh, all right another colonial power go ahead uh japan fucking one of the greatest flags ever invented i think the japan flag is uh, is is it's controversial, actually, in terms of how good it is. Really? I think it's, it's one of those ones that some people think is really good because of its simplicity. But I think some people really don't like it for the, for the same reason. No. Like it, Listen, it, Japan, Japan as, as a concept, can only be done the way that Japan's done it. Like, like the, the simple circle on a, on a white field, it, it's incredible. It's super iconic, yeah. um, super recognizable. And also, if you, try and, if you try and take that formula and shift it slightly, it doesn't work. Proof, Bangladesh. <laughs> The Bangladeshi flag, I'm sorry, is not pretty. I, I'm having a realization with this episode that we are, a lot of people are going to be mad at us about our flag opinions. I do also want to say that some people don't like the Japanese flag because it's not that dissimilar to their imperialistic rising sun flag. And like, right. do you know what I mean? It's like if you... Ha- if, if, if you're talking culture, like cultural meaning, yeah, like, yeah bear in mind, when, I, when I'm talking about flags uh, from a design point, I am, I am just talking about visual... Uh, you know, oh, yeah. appeal. That's true. So, right. Visual, you know, if it looks like if, a good flag. If, if, you, if because... you mean like, I don't like the Japanese flag because it's too reminiscent of their imperial rising. That is completely fair. And I agree with you. Yeah. Because I think, I think Mark, I think he quite likes the way that the Nazi flag looks. Um... <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I have a point to make later. <laughs> that I'm going to defend myself. Okay. <laughs> I don't like the Nazi flag. I don't like the Nazi flag. <laughs> I don't like the Nazi flag for the same reason I don't like any <laughs> imperial <coughs> banner, okay? It's yeah. Because it, it is a symbol of, of, of pretty cruel people um, and <laughs> evil. So okay. I, I'm not going to mention the fucking Nazi flag, <laughs> but there is a, there's a couple of design aspects of it yeah. that make the, that I will mention later. Okay, right. But I'll come on to that later. Okay. I, I, I would say like some of the flags that I really like. In the, I like it when flags are... Simple, obviously, not overly complicated, yeah. Yeah. but they're different. You, you obviously have a lot of tricolor flags with like mm-hmm, France mm-hmm. and Germany and stuff like that. And it's like these work B tier flags. They're fine, right? They're not bad, but they're not exceptional. I like quite a lot of flags, which will take that concept and they have some sort of like Canada. I like Canada. It's iconic. Yeah. The maple leaf is is simple enough, but it works really well with the, with the mm-hmm. two colors and the things. I like that. I like that sort of flag. Um, and it's interesting. Are... I looked at a few lists online of people rating flags because I was curious what other mm-hmm. people thought. Canada almost always scored really low. Really, people were like it's lame. It's a leaf. I love Canada's flag. I also like its dimensions. It's got it's it's slightly different dimensions mm-hmm. to a, a a traditional tricolor flag that makes it work visually for what it's doing. Yeah. Um, I also like flags like the Jamaica flag. I love Jamaica. Jamaica is one of my top flags. Yeah. The the colors in it are are incredible. And the fun fact, it's the only flag, only country flag in the world that doesn't have red, white, or blue in it. It's the yeah. Jamaican flag. And I think That's it's, it's really good. And I think a good example of a flag that uses quite a lot of colors, but is still pretty good, is South Africa. Um, I have South- a better example of that. I, Give me a, I'm not too are you big say on the South African flag. I'm going to say the Seychelles. Seychelles. South Africa flag has one more color than the Seychelles. Does uh, it really? Yeah, it does, actually. Well, what's nice about the Seychelles is it looks... Like it's just a bunch of colors, but it's like yeah. it's like four, right? Five. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it's, it, it's just like the colors are completely different. It seems really random and arbitrary, but they all go together really well. And it's one of those yeah. ones where you're like, you can just put a bunch of shit in one flag and it works. Uh, here's the thing: is I realize people listening along to this episode, you're gonna have to do a lot of googling yeah. alongside. Listen, it. This is this is this is a, obviously yeah, it's a it's a topic so, that's very visual. So I yeah. would recommend that you look things up as we're we're talking mm-hmm. about them. Um, yeah. Okay. I just okay. I hate American state flags. <laughs> Let's go in. You you talk yes. about some good flags. Okay, a lot of country flags are good. It's very rare to find a bad country flag. There's some sort oh, of that's mid. Not true. Okay, I was gonna say there's <laughs> some there's some. All right, fine. Before we t- I talk about Tell how bad what, before, US state before, was. Before we go into regional and small, regions. Sh- smaller yeah, regional flags, let's stay on country flags for a minute because I just wanna I just wanna I just wanna list off some of my favorites. Yes, go ahead. And the reasons why I like them compared to some of the really midi okay. shitty ones. Okay. Tell me, tell me. Uh, Albania. As, as in one of your favorites? One of my favorites. It's big red standard, black double headed eagle. 
it's gorgeous. It's yeah. super iconic. It looks it a bit nice. evil. It does look evil. Very Nazi. It looks like a bad guy. Um, but this, I would... is, this is why I mentioned Nazis earlier, because the combination of striking colors with black, the color black on a flag almost always looks incredible. I like me. symbols on flags when they're, they're, they have a stylized pattern to them, right? And I yeah, think the Albania yeah. flag is good because it has that eagle and it's symmetrical and it's interesting yeah. and it's good. The thing for me is I think I personally am not as big of a fan of flags that are color and something, right? Um, mm. And I feel like the Albania flag for me, I would prefer if it just had like the black lines going down the side, similar to like the Canadian flag. Ooh. But I, but no, that's I don't, I don't know. I, I know what you mean. Most of the time, I'm not that big on a lot like like Vietnam, where it's like one big color and then a symbol in the middle. Yeah. I'm not that big on that kind of thing usually. Um, and if you look at Barbados, that's a good example of it has the stripes. I love and then Barbados. In the middle. I, Barbados, Barbados is one is of incredible. my favorites. Barbados is gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I also I I like I like simple flags like that. They're like it's like three colors, a really simple symbol, super recognizable. But I also like flags that just seem like they're doing a little too much sometimes, like Bhutan. Yeah. Which well, is you... just a fucking dragon holding the dragon balls. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's not obviously, but I I, I love oh, that flag. Because it's like fun. it's super iconic. It's a little bit silly, yeah. but it's it's really fun in the same I way. I do like, like the, the colors of it, to be honest, to be honest. Like yeah, sometimes colors orange. can make a flag and having it being that diagonal yellow sure. and orange, I like a lot. That's what I love about the Jamaican flag. Like the the we see that that shape. We've seen those mm -hmm. kind of shapes on a few different flags, but the colors are so striking. It's really, really gorgeous. I really like the, um, I think it's the Greenland flag, just because it's simple. It takes that simple concept, um, and it just has that circle in it. So it's it's red at the bottom, white at the top. And yeah, it has yeah. a circle in it, but but the top of the circle is red and the bottom of it's white. Super simple, but like, it's not, it's yeah, it's, it's like it's Indonesia, pretty, Poland, but more but fun. Yeah, and I I kind of yeah. like how that is, and. I, and, and I obviously I like all the Scandinavian ones and what they do just having that yeah all like the Nordics are, are, are beautiful can yeah. I tell you my favorite tricolor yeah this might surprise you it's Estonia that doesn't surprise me I was actually going to guess Estonia really yeah. oh, okay I just feel like nobody mentions it no I love Estonia like I said the black in the flag I think looks awesome yeah also I read about the symbolism of the Estonian flag and I, ca I was kind of skeptical at first because it's meant to look apparently like an Estonian landscape white snow black dark pines and then blue sky and i was like yeah I, uh, like i can kind of see it but then i looked up a picture of the estonian, estonian landscape, landscape and you're like it. it's oh, actually the it's just estonian that <laughs> yeah you know, I, I see we read that's incredible uh, yeah i a like the one that's supposed to be their landscape is the ukrainian flag it's supposed to be yeah. golden like wheat fields and then blue and I, I love the colors of the uh ukrainian flag yeah sometimes just the flag colors really colors and colors uh, uh that's so, so important. Do you know why? You probably do, but the audience might not know why there isn't a lot of flags, purple flags. Why well, there isn't that many purple flags? No. Um, do you not know? No. I don't think so. Okay. The reason why uh, most flags were created a long time ago, right? Oh, is it just about the inavailability of purple? Purple dye? is a color. So yeah, exactly. So so yeah. Okay. Um, obviously, flags have to be something that was mass produced, and mm -hmm. so you would, and you know, they couldn't. They weren't printers. So the dyes had to be made from something. And that's why there's lots of, lots of reds and blues, because it was, I think, blue... They, those were easy dyes to make back in those mm -hmm. times. Yeah. Um, but purple ca dye came from a very specific kind of bug, I think. And it was very rare and difficult to get a hold of, which is why there's no purple flags. And it's also why, why a lot of Roman emperors wear purple. It's a symbolism of wealth. Yeah. Um, so purple yeah. was like, it became like a... a, a royal color right yeah exactly because it's just it's it's a and i mean mm -hmm. that's why you have the saying things like born in purple meaning born in royalty and stuff right it's just it's it's a really expensive and scarce color so definitely the not something that you want to have as a country flag that you're yeah. gonna be making a lot of that makes um, a lot of sense and, yeah. um well i okay, like you... uh i like i like i like symbols on flags mm -hmm. right and I like symbols that where they you see them and you're like, this obviously has a very specific cultural meaning, but I have no idea what it is, just like off looking at it. But it looks cool, right? Yeah. And there's a few examples of this. Number one, South Korea. I do like the South, South Korean, Korean flag. flag. Like you look at it, you, there, there's no, it, unless you have a connection with it, like and you understand the meaning previously, mm -hmm. there's no way of knowing what the fuck it's about. Yeah. But it's very intentional and very geometric and beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's great. I like the South Korean flag more than the Japanese flag, I'd say. It's just, I, I do it's got as got well. that little bit more to it. Um, but another example of, of that design concept for me is Kyrgyzstan. Have you seen the Kyrgyzstan flag? Oh, 
Uh, let's see. Let me look it up. It's like a sunrise. But oh, the center of yeah. the sun is an Xbox logo. I, yeah. like, I don't know what's happening. I kind of really I do think like it's that. Gorgeous. I th- I I think might, gorgeous. Yeah. I, I, it does sort of, unfortunately, blend in with a lot of those sort of Soviet countries, you know. Especially because um, of the color choice. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Red. It's just it's that red well, of like I, I like Soviet that Russia it's, and China. It's it's a it's a rising sun without it being a rising sun. It's a you know star without it being a star. It's mm-hmm. it's a very like the symbol is very specific you, and unique. But you, then you start to get to a point where it's like. Is this a flag or is this like a sports team logo? Um, I, I I do have that. Well, that's I have that issue with a few flags where the geometry just feels a little too much like a corporate logo. Yeah. When we like, talk about regional flags, the Colorado. Yeah. It just or looks New Mexico. Like a, New Mexico is the big one. I know. I love New Mexico. No, I, I'm not saying I dislike New Mexico. I, I know. I don't. I don't think New Mexico. falls into that. I don't think it falls into that corporate category because it feels more like a like a you know Aztec kind but, of no, old. It, but this is what I think. It feels like like an like it's a company that that's trying to use Aztec symbolism. Yeah, in, I, you know, I get what you mean. Like like it, it looks like the the symbol of a Mexican restaurant chain. Yeah, kind of. Where it's just the yellow. And I do think the, it's really good though. It's good, but I can hundred really percent see it in like a cyber as a logo for setting, something. and it's like a dystopian <laughs> country, dystopian yeah. business flag. Hold um, on, let me. I'll just run quickly down the list of flags I love to see yeah. if there's any we haven't mentioned. Macedonia is is quite nice. Yeah, um, uh, Nepal. Uh, oh yeah, no, so the, yeah, Nepal, the your, only non-rectangular yeah, flag. flag. Um, uh, in your Nepal opinion, is it's cool. It's cool. I like it. Right. I, re- yeah. I really like it. Um, I like non-conformity. I also like... Well, here's the thing. If there was a lot of flags that weren't square, I wouldn't like it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You, you know, know what I mean? mean? So I might like, like another it one because of these. it doesn't conform. Because it's the only one. Because it... And it, it, the reason it's that shape makes a lot of historical and cultural sense because yeah. those are the shape of the Nepalese flags that they put along mountain paths in their country. Yeah. So it makes sense that their flag would be that shape because that's what they're used to flying mm-hmm, on mm-hmm, poles. Mm-hmm. So it's like... And it makes sense that they have that cultural exception. Uh, already mentioned those, and then you uh, have... Kazakhstan. I really like Kazakhstan. Now Kazakhstan does danger fall dangerously close to looking like a lifestyle brand logo, <laughs> but like the it's an eagle flying underneath the sun, and it's like blue with a yellow on top of it. I think the color choice is really interesting, and I love just the shape of like the the eagle and the the sun. I think it's really visually pleasing. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, the th- here's the thing, right? Is it difficult mm-hmm. for me to critique certain flags because I feel like I'm being insensitive? But there's quite a lot of flags that have that symbol, Ka- Kazakhstan, that has that lo- like symbol going down the side. And yeah. I feel like I don't like it because it doesn't connect to the top and the bottom of the flag. Right, right. And it's no- and there's a, like a lack of symmetry there for me that mm-hmm. doesn't work for me. Like if that, that, that was on I, both I, I sides, totally meaning. if it was on both yeah, sides, there's, there's it went up quite down flags. Things, from around that region where yeah. they have that kind of banner on the left side. And here's the thing is I'm sure there's a reason for it. And it's like, yeah. it's really important to their to their culture. And I'm like being super disrespectful for saying that I don't like it, but just visually- I don't visually, think it's disrespectful to say like visually- Visually, I just don't, I don't. Could be. Yeah. I, um, I'm seeing a redesign of the flag of Kazakhstan here where they have it on both sides. And I'm like, oh, I love this so much more. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, think, I think a lot of flags try and avoid symmetry because th- there's there's a hoist side oh there's that inherent the hoist side and I'm so it's kind of like idiot. it's meant to be coming yeah. from this side yeah. outwards but and then like, again if you're in if like that works for something like um uh any that have like the triangle you know what i mean like, oh yeah, yeah 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 like a Czechia? uh puerto rico yeah yeah yeah, Czechia, yeah puerto rico, puerto rico. Um, those ones it works really well for that, but if you're like Kazakhstan, you just have a symbol in the middle. It doesn't really. Yeah, work yeah, because well. you have a symbol oh. in the middle already. Um, Whatever. Um, that's yeah, that's all like the standout ones I really wanted to mention, just because they did certain things that I really liked. Okay. But you'll make me like your flag if you have like a simple but visually pleasing symbol um, and striking colors. I can't stand dull colors. There's fucking um. Oh my god! What what is it? Uh. There's an African flag, Which Mozambique. Like Mozambique. I hate the Mozambique flag because the the shade of green oh, they is like really each other dull well. and grey. Oh, and then they Otherwise, have the, I would uh... love that flag because it's got a fucking AK-47 <laughs> I in it. I know, I was about to say, I can't stand any flag that has any sort of gun on it. Like, I think I, that is the only flag that has a gun on it. There are more than one. There, there's definitely more than true. one flag. Flags with guns on them. 
<laughs> there's a hundred percent more than one flag with some sort of gun on it. Unless that is it. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. I think it's only Mozambique. Okay. I don't. I, I'm not a fan of the gun. And <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, again, it's like it's like the Nepal thing where like because it's the only one. I'm like, oh, nice. But if if it was like a common thing, I'd be like, I don't like this. Yeah. I think I think there might be like like non-country flags that have guns on them. Yeah, probably, but, probably. But yeah, I'm yeah. not a fan of that. Mozambique, I only don't like it because of the color choice, to be honest. You're right. But yeah, I need I'll... striking colors. Black, red, white. Those are great. All right, Americans. Americans. American state flags. We haven't even mentioned the U.S. flag, sorry. The U.S. flag's decent. It's decent. It's, it's good. It's a very good it's, flag. I think it's, it's a very good flag. I think it's a good flag. U.S. flag. I mean, it's it's got to be with the amount of time If we, if we don't mention it. If we don't mention it, people are going to be fucking furious. Fucking furious. Um, it, it's got to be a good flag, flag with the, the amount of times they fly it everywhere. Tell you yeah. the first time I was in say... Chicago airport, and it's just <laughs> lines of flags. It it's, is it's everywhere. It's definitely the country I've been to where there is the most of their flag. Yeah. Just, uh, you go on any sort I, of I drive. I a lot of GeoGuessr, and um, the only country that I've been playing GeoGuessr in where I just see the flag fucking everywhere is, is, is America and Indonesia. Wow, I didn't know about Indonesia. Shout out those guys. Shout out those guys. Yeah, I'm sure there's other countries that do it, but like, I, I, yeah, but America being is like in America, I, I, and you, you just you drive for like 30 minutes and you count like 50 flags in that time, and it's and like they, they do like gigantic ones as well. The thing I was is, in um. <sighs> Oh yeah, huge was flags, and they're always like, like, flown you might, half mast. Like, oh, I was in Washington or New York, and I saw a giant yeah, flags like that. Makes like, sense, oh, of course, right? I was in, I was in like, like Richmond, Virginia, and yeah. they had some fucking gigantic flag. But this is what I'm, I'm saying. Like, like, what is it doing here? Like, Did you go people to forget <laughs> where they were. You go to London and you see a decent amount of Union flags, and like, yeah, it makes sense. It's London, right? You could you see a decent yeah. amount of French flags in Paris. I'm, yeah, I'm not. This is like in the Midwest. There's just some <laughs> just suburban a town in the Midwest has <laughs> ten US flags. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. It's really, um, really funny. And and the reason they fly um, it is because their fucking state flags suck. A couple of them are good, and a couple of them have redesigns yeah. that are decent, right? But Do you most want to start of with the ones are bad ones. Most of the bad ones, well, it's it's really easy to encapsulate all the bad ones because what they are is they are blue. They're not yeah. even all the same shade of blue, um, and then they have a crest and then some sort of thing at the bottom that says what state it is like the wisconsin flag i think is a really good the wisconsin flag is like the quintessential example of what is wrong with u.s state flags because it says <laughs> wisconsin on the top in impact font or what it looks yep. like and then 1848 at the bottom and then this really hyper detailed crest in the middle with two <laughs> guys uh it has another flag in the middle i mean wisconsin has a lot of bad flags have you ever seen the flag of milwaukee like the old flag. I think they redesigned it. I don't think so. Mark, look up the flag of Milwaukee Mil right now. Walkie. I want your live reaction to this. There's two of them. There's a really good one, which is new. But there's a really <laughs> oh bad God. old one. No, I have seen this. this is, I have seen it, this. It, let me describe it for you guys. It's blue How background. How can you describe this? It's a blue background with Milwaukee written down the bottom in in font that is red, yellow, and white. Um, then it has a cityscape with a boat out front facing towards you there's 1846 written down the side there's corn on the other side big cogwheel in the cogwheel four symbols including another flag <laughs> holy shit that is another flag there's another flag there's a flag on the flag a and native american so i don't know what the much. other flag there's an american flag in here flying from one of the buildings there's in the two flags game. there's actually three because there's, there's one on the ship there's three flags there's, in this flag there's three flags inside of the but, milwaukee flag Holy I wanna, shit. I, I, the reason I want to bring it up is you've looked, at, you've typed in Walkie flag. You can now yeah. see what their redesign is. I don't know if it's official. That's gorgeous. I think the Milwaukee the actual... flag redesign is in one of my. It's definitely top ten flags for me. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, I love no, the that, colors. That is awesome. I love the composition of it. It's so good. It's like this yellow and blue sunrise set thing with the yeah. light blue stripes. is really good. And the Incredible. thing is, great you could, colors. You could great say oh, it's a city flag. Of course, it's gonna be shit. There's so many good city flags though. Amsterdam city yeah. flag, incredible. Chicago city flag's pretty good as well right it's not really like america Chicago, it's not flag. it's just iconic it's like it's oh it's pretty it's pretty cool yeah it's yeah. decent right yeah it's, amsterdam was in my in my like regional flags um that are really really I, good i i really like the ohio flag uh, um yeah. because it's it's one of those that is it's non-rectangular mm, but it's yeah. tastefully non-rectangular non it feels like bunting it feels celebrational yeah um, it and it's it's a, it's a it's a it's a remix on the american flag uh, and it has the O from Ohio in it, so it's not it's not like lettering, but it has 
technically has a layer. I think it's really cool. Um, it is very. This cool. is where I'm really worried that I'll look up the history of the Ohio State and it's flag. Like based it's actually on like the Confederate terrible. flag. That was what I was thinking because yeah. there's there's a few state flags and some of them are being redesigned where they are just based on um, <laughs> the um, a Confederate flag that they just right, haven't right. gotten rid of. Um, yeah. Can I give you my my I, state flag hot take? Yeah, give it to me. I really like Maryland. Yeah, me too. That's, that's I've heard. Oh, no, I've people heard hate people, it. But, people hate it. I I. I I like it. It looks like a like a coat of arm. It looks like a classic sort of. It looks like a European city flag. Yeah, I'm not gonna say um, it's one of those ones where it's like I understand anybody who doesn't like it, and for sure. I, I totally get that. But I also think in the context of American flags, when so many of them are blue with crest and text, it stands mm-hmm. out as being particularly iconic. I think yeah, other yeah, American yeah. flags I quite like. Arizona, decent. Um, yeah. I, I Colorado and New Mexico, as we said before, are decent, but they do look like corporate yeah. flags. <laughs> <laughs> They recently, I think, redesigned the Mississippi flag. There's a new one. Really? Yeah. They had a competition for it. Um, yeah, they did. So the Mississippi flag was one of the ones that was based on the Confederate flag. And they've oh, changed see, it. Look yeah. it up. It's quite nice, actually. Oh, it's it has got like the, that uh, lotus or something in the middle Yeah, there? yeah. That, it's quite nice. Well, they did put in God We Trust on it, um, which, you know, yeah. text, not happy with. But but ultimately, I still think it's quite nice. It's, it's oh, now, there's, a, it's, there's a variant of it that I like way more. It's I just agree. got stars and the, the agree, flowers. I agree. The variant is way, is way better. But, like the simple version. Yeah, that's, that's still pretty cool. California has a few issues. Hmm. It has yeah. text on it. The symbol, like the, the drawing on it is pretty complex. But there's something about it I really like. Well, you That's just because it has a bear on it. And you're a bear it, fan. Listen. I like that it has the bear, yes. Yeah. But there's something about the text I kind of fuck with. <sighs> okay, I get it. I get it. I it's think the, ca- the, the, listen, the text in the California Republic flag is doing the same thing for me as like the um, like the Saudi Arabia flag having yeah. Arabic in it. Uh, you know what I mean? Whereas like it it just looks like part of a design rather than like because like, the, the issue that I have with most like if you look at like like a Kansas Kansas flag or something and it just says Kansas in giant text at the bottom, <laughs> it doesn't look like it's part of the 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 flag design. But because yeah. the California one, it's like underlining the bear and there's like another design element under it separating i don't know i it, yeah. just like it I, yeah and sure. it has a bear in it yeah <laughs> yeah i just i can't i can't bring myself to like it i understand why people I totally, do I totally it is that. iconic um it's just one I of those yeah i can't bring ones. myself to like it uh yeah uh, have um, you have you ever seen i have this? alabama written down but i can't remember what the alabama state the flag alabama is. flag is that not one of the other confederate ones Oh, oh no, it's, it's not. No, it's, sorry, sorry. It's the um, it's it's like a red version of the St Andrew's Cross. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, it's just it's just the 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 midway point between the English and Scottish flag. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's decent. So I like decent. it. Sorry. Yeah, nice and simple. Um, um, uh, can I can I just quickly talk about um the the worst flags ever made in mankind, which are the oh, are the Liberian County flags. Okay. Oh my god. Um, yeah, no, I have I have heard of Do you these. know the Liberian County flags? Everyone now look up I think I watched a video about them a while look ago. Look up the Liberian County flags. Uh <laughs> they are <laughs> That's so, so much good. worse than I remember. They're so good. Okay. That right. one with like the arm reaching yeah. across a river. So the flag of Lofa County they all look like they've been made in fucking Emma's paint, right? Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The flag of Lofa County to, to to describe it is sort of a green background sort of represent grass has a uh-huh. kind of shittily drawn river then it has an arm a disembodied arm l- looks like it's drawn in emma's paint on like this weird 3d render of a pole but yeah. <laughs> if you look closely at the flag the bevel on the pole is also on the fingers because they fucked up and they didn't realize that that would you, you know what i mean <sighs> like funny. they didn't get the gradient right so the hand is also beveled like it's part of the pole <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Then you've got the flag of River Gee County, which is just three trees, and one of them, two of them are floating in midair. Like, like <laughs> it, it could already be bad. Um, <laughs> my dad is trying to call me. Why? What does he want? He's he's gonna give me a web camera. <laughs> uh, too late. I too late. We have mid podcast. Yeah, shout out, your shout out my dad. Shit. Yeah, um, shout out your dad. So, oh God, that's oh yeah, no, those are terrible ones. Incredible, absolutely. I wanted terrible. to, I wanted to mention um, some British county flags. Ooh, 
because we do have them. We do. And a lot of them are kind of boring, like they'll be based on uh, coats of arms and stuff like that. But some of them are, look up the Cornish flag, the flag of Cornwall. Oh, I know the Cornish one. It's, it's black it is, and yellow, isn't it? It's black and white. Black and white. And, oh. and it just stands out so Bam. much. It's just the English flag, but it's black and white. Black and white, which yeah. Is, which is, is, is incredible. Obviously, you mentioned Amsterdam. Sorry, I'm just looking at my list of regional flags. Can, can, so I, can I tell you about um, the, the Japanese province flags? Do you know what they look like? Yes. Are they not based on the... Um, they like old simple. clan logos? I think so, maybe. You look at them up. Symbols? So, I, I'm 50-50 about them. I used to really mm-hmm. like them because I, I think they have a clean, uniform design. They're all a really interesting logo on a colored background. Oh, yes, yes. They look great. But the more I think about them, the more that I'm also like, these all do just look like business logos, like corporate logos. They look like eSports logos. They look like eSports logos. Like They're, they're actually really good eSports logos. Yeah. Or like actually. sports teams, sort of like modern sports teams. But... In a lot of those provinces in Japan, the, um, on their uh, manhole covers, um, mm. they'll have the symbol of, that's on their flag on the manhole cover. Like the to- yeah. if you go in, in Tokyo, they have that Tokyo symbol on all the manhole covers, and I think I love that. I just absolutely love that. That is that is really fun. I um, like that a lot. And so I like the way that they utilize it. Like it's still part of their like identity. And yeah. And it's cool that they have that uniformity. Well, America doesn't really have that. And most countries don't really. You know what? Except for no. Liberia. Liberia also has that uniformity. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> yeah, they're uniformed in their shittiness. And that gives them... Yeah, that we, means we, we actually, that. I think the Liberian county flags are better overall as a product than the US state flags. Because <laughs> at least they're consistent in their shittiness with each other. Yeah. Um, yeah. I genuinely think some of the U.S. state flags are worse than the Liberian county I th- flags. I think with the U.S. Um, state flags, they're just worse be- conceptually mm-hmm. than the, the like. At least the Liberian county flags, they they have a, this cool idea. Oh, we're going to do these spears with this orange background, and we're going to get a three-year-old to draw it. But that's okay. <laughs> At least like the idea is better than yeah. um, crest and the state written in impact font at the top of the date and at the bottom. Like you don't know, you it's, you see some, most uh, U.S. state flags from a distance. You don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah. God, what state just, am I in? You it's just state see, of like, despair. Blue. That's what I'm in. <laughs> state of despair. You just see like yeah, blue with like some complex logo in the middle and blurry text. And you're like, where the fuck am what I? What the Could fuck be is this? Um, I do want to quickly just British ones. Um, yeah. Stand out. First of all, Yorkshire. I mean, yeah. it's the it's the Yorkshire rose. It's. It's the product of a fucking 100 yeah. year war. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. uh, no, 100 year war, sorry. Um, war of the Roses. It's a, uh, it's beautiful. It's great. It's iconic. It's culturally important. County Durham. County Durham is near my my hometown. <gasps> um, I really like their flag. Do you really like the county flag, Mark? Mm. This is unprecedented. Oh, no. Um, but I, I got you a gift. Uh, do you mind if I get it real quick? I got, you, I got you this gift. And it was supposed to be okay. for Christmas, and then I forgot to give it to you. Um, so then I was saving <laughs> okay. it for your birthday, but it's relevant now. So I'm going to show relevant? you. It's relevant? I'm going to sure. show you now. Go listen, grab listen, the listen. gift. I got a gift. This is, this is never, what? Okay. This is, this is new to me, viewers. So let's, let's, let's find out what right here. <laughs> Daniel has it's got right me. Here. I got it's right you, here. It's right here. Just because you brought up County Durham, near where uh-huh. you live, and you're a passionate fan. This is, this is a, oh. He's unfolding it. What is it? This is an old map of the county. Oh of my Durham. gosh! It's a county Durham map. That's awesome. From the 1700s. Oh, that is so cool. Um, which is like the closest map I could find to where you live. Um, yeah. Wait, how far south does that go? It goes all the way down to. <laughs> the only thing I can see here is fucking Eagle Cliff. <laughs> Eagle so Cliff. sorry, this is in Scandinavia. Um, <laughs> God, I, I mean, can... Eagles Cliff is 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 still a place in in Teesside. I think yeah, that yeah, map goes... is going to cut off right at oh, Middlesbrough, which is yeah, where I my, exactly. My... But Middlesbrough Stockton, wouldn't yeah, Stockton's Middlesbrough right wouldn't here. have existed as much of a major town in the 1700s. Yeah. So yeah, it, has it was it was a Durham. big uh, Middlesbrough can, kind of cre- became a thing because of the iron uh, mines that they 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 created there in like the 1800s. Yeah. This is an old map from the 70s. That's awesome. Yeah, there you go. Merry Christmas, happy birthday. Um, well, thank you very much. That's so fun. I forgot about just it. Just a map of County Durham. Yeah. Just, there you go. 
Um, well, well, let me let me let me name one that's slightly closer to you then. Buckinghamshire. Have you seen the Buckinghamshire flag? I don't know if I have. Let me look it up. And everyone it, watching, I has think to it's look my up. favorite British flag, um, like regional flag. Buckinghamshire county flag. Whoa, with the goose. It's a goose with a crown around its throat that it, has a chain on it. it, it Black it looks and red like a, and white. Uh, it looks like a rebel faction flag. Like, <laughs> like it's like. The yeah. goose with the crown. It looks like a villain faction from like a, it looks like incredible. a fantasy RPG. Yeah, genuinely, I implore anyone listening to this to please Google the flag of Buckingham. I mean, everyone Shire. listening to this has been Googling every flag we've been talking about. I hope they have. They might not I mean, have been. That's This is my call to action. If you haven't been, action. what are you doing? Because oh it's, it's just incredible. I love that. You know what? We probably should wrap up. Uh, yeah, we're going I think on. it's a high note to end on. We talked about some regional flags all around the world. We talked about country flags. And we talked about amazing. County Durham. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Seventeen seventy-five Durham. Hope you enjoy, hope you like that. I, I um, will. I will love that. Leave, that leave a comment. Bedroom. Leave a comment saying what your favorite flags are and what your least favorite yeah, flags are. I would love to know. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to this episode of the Hobby Hole. Uh, Mark, can you be the one to scream this time? Um, yeah. Do, um, do I need to do something? Yeah. Can, oh gosh. Can you? What would you like me to do? Can you send me an image on Discord? Of no, I, a visually oh, unappealing flag, oh, and I will react I to it. I could do it on my phone. Yeah, I could, I could do it on my phone. I'll send you an image on Discord of a visually unappealing flag, and I don't uh, know. I don't know what what flag what flag it's going to be. I can't yeah. wait to find out though. Um, this is our role player. I've asked Daniel to send me a flag. I'm surprised when it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh! Oh my days! I haven't stopped recording. You didn't scream. I could. I couldn't bring myself to do it. <laughs> I also think Discord might cut me out if I scream. Let me try. Um, 